Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Jim came home from work, and he brings me the mail every time he comes home from work. Was this all the only mail? That's all. Well, there was an AARP magazine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, when you get old, you get those magazines. Well, we have that. But anyways, he came in and he says, did you order something? Because got a package in the mail. And then he reads on it, adoring doll clothes? Did you order some doll clothes? He goes to me and I says, no, it's got your name on it. Must be you did. And he mm. says, I didn't. I didn't order any well, doll clothes. Well, it's got your name on it. So here you go. You open it up. Oh, I guess he's going to come in the chair. He's in my chair even. <laughs> uh, do I have to? <laughs> I think it would be better. Ah. Let's see. Okay. okay, we see him very well. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Oh, something cloth? Yeah, something cloth. There's a card in it. It's a nice, nice bag. With your name on it. With Look my at that. name on the card. This is Jim. Yep, that's you. Let's see what this. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> he thought it was something I had gotten. No, I I'm didn't. sure it's something. Oh, that's Ooh. beautiful. Oh it's my a goodness. nice hat. You gonna put it on? <laughs> it fits you beautifully. Look at that. Ooh, thank you, Pamela. That's from Pamela. Well, Pamela's we'll see. I betcha, because she's the only one I know that makes hats, and it said. Adoring whatever um, the uh, llamas on there. She it's has llamas on the card. She has doll clothes, so it's got to be her. It says, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Uh, P.S. The hat has not been washed. Okay. And there's a nice note there, but well, I don't know. Should I read I... it all? Sure. Yeah, read it. Jim, I'm sending you this gift to let you know that you are very much appreciated. Thank you for all the help in the encouragement and support you give Nona Grace to help her bring awesome content for us. I made this hat from my Addy knitting machine. I figured you might like to wear it when you're outside working. Pamela. Thank it, you, Pamela. It it's very, very nice. It, it's it's going nice. to be very warm. It's great. It's a yeah. perfect color for you. Yeah, it's a great color. <laughs> it's going to work out good. Thank you. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. I can have my chair back, huh? Yep. We swapped seats. Now I'm back. Well, today I'm going to talk about who? Who? <laughs> who? Who? What? Who? What? When? when where? Why? Where? Why? Are those words that you hear often? Like, do you hear, who are you? Or what are you doing? Or where are we going? Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how are you? <laughs> you hear that one too. Well, many times during the day, you're going to hear those things, especially if you have kids. My, I had my um, grandchildren today. I had to think of what they were called. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> the grandchildren. I had grandchildren today. You can turn that heater off. It's a little warm in here. I'm actually dressed a little warmer because I have the vest on. But I had them today, and they go, when's Mommy coming? I go, I don't know when Mommy is coming. So that was one of the questions. When? When is Mommy coming? Mm -hmm. And when? It, where is Poppy? They wanted to know where Jim was. And I said, he's at work. Well, when does he come home? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> he'll be home bef because he has to pick up Caitlin and Ben. Oh, he'll be home in time for that. And who is that? When you see somebody, you might want to... Well, who is that? Who is calling? You have all these questions that you ask. And then little kids ask really hard questions sometimes. Like the one that's in a book. It says, why is the sky blue? You have to get the book, I guess, to find out why. Why is the sky blue? Hmm. And why is the ocean deep? How, or how deep is the ocean? That's probably more the question they would ask. And, mm -hmm. and what age is the best age? Also, how old are you? How tall am I? Where is my name on the door? Because I, today I had to measure. I measured um, Caitlin. And Alex wanted to stand up against the door to see if he has grown since his last birthday. And Brianna stood up against the door to see if she has grown. I have my kids, my grandkids. 
I even have some foster kids on that door, so if they were to ever just come back and see how tall they were when they lived with me, they were all pretty tall, way taller mm -hmm. than me. But those were the questions that I asked, that are asked. And why do we have to go to bed? <laughs> why do we have to get up? Why do we have to go to school? Those are a lot of the whys. Do you have your homework done? That's a question, too. Mm -hmm. Do you have any homework? Hmm. Who is your teacher? Uh, what school do you go to? And those are, uh, you know, you probably could come up with a million more. I've got a whole list of stuff here that I didn't even read. It's, 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 there's a lot. I don't know if you can see that list, but there is a lot on here. And then I have another list <laughs> that I didn't even bring in. I printed it out, but I didn't oh, bring it in. Yeah. Of words that I was thinking of and stuff that could be used in the who, what, when, where, and why. Who? Who are you? What are you doing? When are you coming? Or, and where are you going? Where, and why? When are we going? When are where are we go? When are we going? When are we going? Oh, we are going in June. No, that's when. <laughs> that's another one of the questions yeah. that gets asked. And we're going maybe after in Easter. We're going to go twice. Maybe. And who's going to take care of the chickens? Emily, poor Emily. She's got to take care of the chickens. I will make sure that they have water, and they have food. And all she has to do is let them out and lock them in and gather the eggs. Talk about eggs. I don't know how many eggs I got. Yesterday, I don't know if I told you, I got a dozen eggs yesterday. Today, I got 11. It's, ten. No, 10. That's ten right. Eggs. 10 Ugh. I got eight or six, and then I got two more, and then I got another one, and then, so now I've got 10 altogether. Yes, I kept adding to it. And every mm. time, and Pretty Boy has been crowing on the dog railing, so he, he, he has remembered how to do that. He got up there yesterday and looked around, and four other hens went up there and looked around with him. But then I didn't go out because he didn't crow. Well, today he crowed twice, so today I had to go out there and give him his scratch. So he remembers, oh yeah, I'm supposed to crow if I go up there. What am I supposed to do? There's a what question. There's another what, yep. Yeah. Well, have a great night. and. Why did my and why do my numbers drop again? They're dropped below, so now I'm not at the two thousand mark anymore. I don't know why, but it did. It dropped, and it's like a yo-yo. It's gonna go up and it's gonna go down. It's gonna go up and it's gonna go down, and then it's gonna go up and it's gonna go up, and then it's gonna go down, and then it's gonna go up, and then it's gonna settle. It'll finally. It's like our weight. Your weight goes up and down like a yo, <clears throat> like a yo-yo. I've got a frog trying to. Creep in there. Kiss a frog and he'll be a prince. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Well, that's it for tonight, and I hope you all have a great day. And if you have a question that you want answered, put that in the comments, and I will answer it, I'm sure, either in person or in writing, whichever. Sometimes I get tired of writing, and sometimes I don't. Depends on how chatty I am that day. And it seems like I've gotten chatty all of a sudden, so I better say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.